Hey guys, how's it going? Trey's here again, and I've finally got a Ballista gameplay for you guys, and I'm Turbine of all maps. I know you can see me using the dual band, but that was just for complete fun. I was trolling and having a bit of fun with it. But my shot was pretty in with the dual band. I'm actually liking it a lot. I'm also using Fast Mag and FMJ, and of course you saw there my TAC-45 with FMJ. My perk setup's the normal, uh, hardline, toughness, and dexterity, I believe. And I'm not sure what the hell happened there. I thought every single one of those shots should have hit him, but I must have shot round him, so there's pretty much an outline of him. And there, I pick up the kill again and redeem myself. So, of course, got the sexy diamond on it. If you haven't noticed, I've changed my logo as well. And I also changed uh, my clan tag. I'm still in, I used to have Banff as my clan tag, badass motherfuckers, but um, we decided to change that because there's about five other YouTube um, clans called Banff, so we came up with AGB, which stands for Angry Gaming Brothers, and of course we put a little bit of Incorporated there, so we sound professional, and it's alright, I'm co-leader with um, Agony, he's the main leader, and there's also another guy, Element, he... He's also co-leader or, you know, recruitment for Modern Warfare 2. I used to be the recruitment officer for Modern Warfare 2, but since I don't play that as much now, because I'm actually enjoying Black Ops, that uh, element, he took that over for me, so props to him. And I'm a bit upset about that hit marker there, but well done to be aiming with the KSG. I'm not the best with that. And I fail a couple of times here, except for that guy. He gets dusted on, so don't use an automatic against me. But yeah, my tactics for this map, I like to stick down this left-hand side or the far right. You don't go through the center of this map, it's awful. And that was 100% fail there by me. I went to take out that guy and there's another guy just sitting on the turbine. But yeah, stick to the left-hand side. Not far left though, don't go through the rocks and things like that because a lot of people sit in between the rocks and look down the long lines of sight. And it's beyond frustrating trying to run up there, so... But, a bit, but this map is really bad for spawn, so if a guy was sitting up here where I'm about to go on the top turbine, you can literally spawn behind him and take him out. For some reason, I'm not sure what the spawns are, but it seems to be a proximity spawn. If there's no one within 10 metres of that spawn, or 15 metres maybe, they spawn you there. It's, the spawns are ridiculous sometimes, and it causes a lot of frustration, and this guy, he's just thrown it. I don't know what those things are called, but it alerts you where someone is. But it gave him away more than helped him out. And here goes another one. Sensor grenade, that's them. Sorry, I don't use a lot of this stuff. I, I find it new. I'm one of these guys that tries to live by the unspoken cod rules, like don't use certain things like automatic bows, cap 40s, things like that. I have listened to other YouTubers and they feel the same. There is unspoken rules about Call of Duty, things you use and things you don't. So I'm not the only one that just feels wrong against them. As you can see my Beast Tac 45, this gun is actually pretty overpowered for a pistol. And it's good to go prone there and check up on the turbine before you start walking out. We've lost control. If, if you can sneak up round here, like not many people take this route, bang, you take the guy off the turbine. Yes, this is recorded in theatre mode, I'm sorry, but I didn't expect to be getting gameplays. I was just kind of messing around the night I got this. And yeah, it resulted in this, which is a pretty nice score in the end. I almost get half the kills. Crappy hit marker there on that guy with an automatic shike on. I won't bag him out for that, because it's about the only way I can use it. And I completely did not hear or see that guy there. So that is 100% my bad. Main thing is, uh, watch your map, see where your teammates are. And watch the skulls, see where your teammates are dying. Get a line of sight on them with the sniper rifle. You don't have to be a quick scoper. Honestly, snipers originally were put into a game for hard scoping and things like that. And I know there's two guys rushing me over here, so I'm going to loop around him and hopefully outsmart him. And bang, I get the better of him, thank God. But yeah. One way to play is try and ask yourself what would you do if you were the guy rushing you or, you know, about to attack you and then counter it. So, so that guy there, I knew he was going to rush me because he had a shotgun. So he had a, a good primary. He was confident in his shot, so he rushed me. And I was managed to get the better of him by looping him. So he still expected me to be in the same spot. Ended up looping him. 
then I fail there on the three piece, pretty bad. But yeah, you end up looping him. So just think, what would you do in that scenario? And then counter it. It's the best way to take out any enemy. My fail aim. Then I get a hit marker, of course. As the blister is prone for it. I even have FMJ on this to try and increase. The guy gets taken out. One thing that really frustrates me with a lot of snipers is they'll carry, say, an SMG secondary and run fast hands. So if they can't, you know, if they can't scope that well, they'll mainly just be on their SMG in a in a ghillie suit, like that guy right there. He had a peacekeeper, and he was using the peacekeeper pretty much the whole game. I think he brings out his sniper once or twice, so he's a bit of a legend. Sneaky shot there. Get the headshot. Anyway, guys, if you're struggling, try this out. I like the crosshair on this one. It just helps me aim a lot better. I'll see if I can get a, not a regular blister game for you guys, but... Get that sneaky shot there. I was pretty proud of that shot, actually, to get it through the rock. Another lightning strike. I don't really care much for kill streaks, so... That's why I'm not really thinking where I put them, but... If you did want a good spot to put them, just know the spawns. And that is a fail there. And I swear to God, I hit him. On my screen, I was 100% confident in that shot. But, as all games go, you can never have a good, good run. It always craps on you. Also, I've got a question for you guys. What, what do you guys actually want to see? Do you want to see more Call of Duty or any other new PC games that are coming out? Like, Or you want to see me play a certain way, use certain weapons, anything like that? Certain perk set up, no perks, no attachments, something like that. I can pretty much have a go at anything. Like, I like being a try-hard red gunner most of the time. Because a lot of people shit me off, so it's fun to just pull out a, you know, a Vector or an MSMC and just go to town. They're pretty easy gameplays to get. I'm trying to get a gameplay with every weapon other than the LMGs, because, God, I hate them. The, the, I just, I can't tolerate them. You run slow, you, you spam the crap out of them. It's just, it's annoying. They take forever to reload. They're just impractical for a fast-paced game. Like, yeah, for the guy that sits there with his target finder or his jewel band or something like that, aiming down a long line of sight waiting to take you out, yeah, I can understand why he does that. And the good, the good old Black Ops knife there. Doesn't get him at point blank range, doesn't get him, but you, you can lunge from a couple of feet away and you've got him. As always, troll arc strikes again. I have a lot more gameplays for you guys. I'm still planning out to bring out three a week. But uh, on Friday, my gameplay will hopefully be some more DayZ on the map Taviana. So if you guys enjoyed my first one, thank you. If you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. This gameplay is winding down now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a comment of what you guys want to see. And thanks very much. Our foes have failed.